Thanks, Carl. Lo marġajna l-ura unek maġun xwireb u sen nitkellmu fuq id-diti. Ilala id-diti ma jahdmuġ. John, welcome back. Thank you for having me back. Well, you, I'm always going to be here. So it's not about coming back. I'm here all, all the time now, right? Isn't that how it goes? Right. right. Tell me. So today we're going to talk about why diets don't work. Mm -hmm. So many people do diets, a lot of diets. I've tried them myself and uh, they work for a short period of time and then you get back to where you were before. Like you gain a lot of weight. What happens? What happens? Well, this is, this is, this is the question that everyone wants to know because uh, I think this issue has been plaguing our world culture for the last, you know, 80 years or so. I mean, in the very end of it all, everyone wants to actually be healthy. I mean, this is very, very important. And it's important to not only be healthy from a, you know, a, a physical point of view on the inside, you know, uh, prolonging one's life because of uh, good, healthy lifestyle habits and so on and so forth, but also feeling good, you know, feeling confident, feeling positive, uh, having the, the image and the body that someone wants, you know, and minimizing, uh, um, you know, uh, injuries and minimizing problems with backs and all of these things that people go through in their life. And, you know, so this becomes, you know, everyone has this desire to just live this great, healthy life. And, and unfortunately, what you're seeing in our culture is that people are not getting healthy. The, the, the longer time goes on, the more educated we are in everything in life, the more advanced life really is. You're seeing that people are becoming fatter. Uh, we're, we're seeing kids in hospitals at a much younger age, you know, struggling with cancers and sicknesses and illnesses. And we're seeing every kind of thing pop up that we haven't seen in decades before, you know. So we're, we're not healthier. Um, and we're, as a collective group, we're doing everything we possibly can to try to be healthy. And the only thing that we really have an option to do is to go on a diet. It seems like that's what it's all been about is diet, diet, diet. And everything that you see when it comes to, to marketing, you know, when it comes to businesses and in our world, we're promoting diets and diets and weight loss and diets. And this really ultimately is the problem because it's not diets that's going to save somebody. It's educating somebody on how to actually take care of their own life. And uh, diets themselves are um, these fads, you know, these, I mean, first of all, I don't like the word diet because it's got the word die written right in it. And there are a lot of people that I have experienced in my lifetime that have succumbed to death because they've been taking crazy pills and powders and doing these obscene magic diets and things, starvation diets, liquid diets and ephedrines and caffeines and all these kinds of things that have caused them heart attacks and, and illnesses and even, you know, some suicide because after all the years of trying, they never succeed. I mean, you understand what I'm talking mm. about. You probably see this yourself. Oh, yes, definitely. So you're saying like taking pills and going on these diets, that they're, they don't work. Why? Well, I, I mean... It's, I don't even really have to say they don't work. I mean, people themselves can tell you that they don't work because what that manifests is this yo-yo effect. You know, someone will go on a diet, whatever the diet may be, you know, whether it's restricting calories, whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, taking in a bunch of liquids, whether it's taking out your carbohydrates. I mean, we were taught that if you want to lose weight, you know, eat 1,200 calories per day, which is just general information. And every single person is so unique that you can't tell one person to eat 1200 calories and another person who's three times the size to eat 1200 calories because they're going to starve themselves and you're seeing these people do all these types of things and ultimately in the end what's happening i mean they're they're losing weight for sure they're less on the scale but it's like someone just kind of popped a hole into their tire they're just losing they're deflating mm -hmm. you know they're going down in exactly. size they're going down in weight but nobody who's doing these kinds of diets when they've lost the 10 kilos or 15 kilos is seriously saying, wow, I, I feel so much energy or I look so much better. They're really saying, well, thanks for saying I look good in my clothes. But if I wasn't wearing these clothes and you saw how I really was looking, you wouldn't be so impressed because, you know, people are saggy and flabby mm -hmm. and they're losing all that muscle and all That's that it. water. So, I mean, this discourages people and it creates something even more important, which is more detrimental and it creates desperation. So... Okay, let's say I, I want to do, I want to go on a diet. Mm. Okay, I want to lose weight. Mm. So what should I do? Don't go on a diet. That's the first thing you don't want to do. You want to learn how to establish what we call a, a lifestyle plan, a healthy living lifestyle plan. I mean, as human beings, we need to eat, obviously. And as a matter of fact, our bodies only operate by being fueled by energy and that energy coming from food. So by knocking food out is 
kind of like saying you're not going to put gas in your car and you still want it to run. So we need food. But you don't go on a diet because diet in itself ultimately means restriction. Cutting mm -hmm. things out, cutting this out, cutting that out. And diets themselves are blind. They're not specific. They're not unique. They're just generalized information for everyone to follow. And ultimately what happens is, again, like I said, failure will always come from that. So adhere to a healthy eating plan for sure. What does that mean? Well, you need to find out what it is that you need for yourself because, as I said, we're individual, we're unique, you know? I mean, we're men, we're women, we're big bone structure, small bone structure, tall, this, that, you know? We have this kind of stress in our life, we have these types of things in our life, we have this much muscle, this much fat, this is the way our life is. Everyone's unique, so everyone requires something very unique and different for themselves. And so you have to obviously mm -hmm. seek a professional okay. in getting that kind of information. So everyone has a specified like plan. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it would be kind of like saying, it's kind of maybe a silly analogy, but imagine if there were 6,000 people in Paris, France that wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. And they're all tourists. They've never been there before. So they're surrounding Paris. They don't know where the tower is, but they all get in their car and they go to the GPS and they type in, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. And then the navigation would find their car and provide 6,000 different maps to the Eiffel Tower because everyone's coming from a different place. Mm -hmm. You cannot generalize. And unfortunately, our world has generalized this information for far too long. And this generalization of information has given people not a better life. It has causes them a much unhealthier life, a sicker life, a more uh, life full of stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Um, no one's happy. Everyone's striving to do, you know, to do this, to do that. They're all confused, misinformation everywhere. And uh, I mean, in the very end of it all, it affects everyone's pocketbook because it's the first place you're going to go. You spend money to try to make adjustments. And in the very end, you're spending all this money to fail. Mm -hmm. You know, oddly enough, statistically speaking, 88% of the population diets. And if you follow them when they start dieting, which is nowadays 14 years old, and you follow them to their 65 years old, 98% of all people who diet only get fatter over that time. And you know this is true because you just have to look at anyone from growing up. You know, you can talk to your Nana. How did you look when you were young? Well, I was this mm -hmm. big, you know. Well, Nana looks this big now. So she's gotten fatter. And fat is not a size. It's a consistency as well. So as everyone's getting older, what else are they getting? Flabby, mm -hmm. you know, weak. And you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So... So People, that comes because they don't eat well. It becomes because they're, they're, they're not following a specific plan that's uniquely designed for themselves. And because in an, inevitably speaking, what they're doing is they're wasting their life away. They're wasting their body away. They're burning muscle tissue. They're burning water. They're eroding their life, making themselves much more unhealthy. And, you know, I mean, as I said, health is key. I mean, first of all, we should never be talking about diets or losing weight anyway. We should always be talking about getting healthy. That is mm -hmm. your number one goal in life is to be healthy. And if you're healthy, you will not have weight to lose. And that's a key. If you're, if you have over, if you're overweight, you know you're not healthy. And you feel it. You know it. You know that something has to happen. You're sitting at home saying, I, I tried a thousand things, John. I mean, I'm a yo-yo dieter. Yeah, because you're dieting. Truly the most important part, and I think in a, maybe in the upcoming weeks that we're talking, mm -hmm. we, will, we will touch upon this. Education. Education is key, and without education, there's not a chance that anyone really is going to be successful. Okay, when you say like education, mm -hmm. how, how are you going to educate people? How are you going to explain to them that you have to be healthy? Well, I mean, I don't really think... Well, actually, it's true. I was going to say, I don't think you have to educate people that they should be healthy. I think everyone already knows that they should be healthy and I think everyone understands that they want to be healthy. I think that people need to be educated on how to be healthy. I mean health is something that um, it can be confirmed in, in the way you live your life, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, the, in the energy that you possess and in the, uh, uh, the vitality that you have and, and in the strength of your body and the way you look and the way you act and the way you think. Um, so, you know, I think people don't know how to be healthy and I'm not sure that they can identify, to be honest with you, uh, am I healthy or am I not healthy? I'm waiting for someone to tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, how you educate obviously somebody is, is simply by, you know, getting to, in a position where you are one-on-one -on -one with an individual and understanding, you know, the circumstances to their own life. Okay. okay? I mean, when you're looking at people's lives, okay, when you're looking at people's lives, 
and you want to be specific, you have to look at things about their own physical body. So, you know, height, weight, bone structure, muscle weight, water weight, you know, basal metabolic rate, BMI, all things that people don't know. And also the circumstances that they're growing up in, the environment they grew up in, the nurturing that they've had, their experiences as a child, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. You put all that together and you have an individual. And that individual, you can ask them 20 questions and no one's going to have the same answers. So that tells you that people are unique in this respect. You have to educate them to be aware of that, educate them to where they want to go, and in the very end of it all, success is going okay. to come if they follow. Okay. I'm afraid we have to close now. Okay. If there is anyone who has a question you want to ask John, just SMS us on this number 506-16750. We had Sitta Saba Hamsa Zero. We'll get back to you next week. And next week's topic is going to be about stress. I think this is something which really interests everyone. Certainly I have a lot of questions mm -hmm. to ask you and we'll see you next week then. All right, thanks for having thanks. me. All right. Thanks, John.